can look messier, ickier, and stickier than we'd like to admit. We can't always protect our kids from chewing on borrowed pencils, sharing lip gloss, or wild sneezes. But there is one thing we can help protect them from, and that's COVID-19. Keep your family safer with vaccines and boosters. Find one near you at myturn.ca.gov. This is a town called Basic. It's pretty hard to stand out around here. But if you pull up in a 2022 Nissan Rogue, you'll stand out before your feet even hit the pavement. Can you make mine look like that? Anything but Basic. The 2022 Nissan Rogue. Get 1.9% financing for 36 months on 10 models, like Rogue, with best in class fuel economy. Side effects were injection site reaction, joint pain, urinary tract infection, diarrhea, chest cold, pain in legs or arms, and shortness of breath. With Lecfio, lowering cholesterol becomes just one more thing life throws you away. Ask your doctor about Lecfio. Lower, longer, Lecfio. When a clean, shiny truck pulls up in front of your house, everyone starts laughing. And that's why they all start dancing. We make junk disappear. All you have to do is point. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 7. Good morning, everyone. Today is Saturday, September 17th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 7 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Rachel Kim. And I'm Nichelle Medina. Right now, let's get a check of your forecast. You've got some outdoor plans this weekend. How are things looking? We've got the uh, triathlon in Malibu. We You're going to be taking part in that. <clears throat> yes, tomorrow, not today. Today right. is for the pros. Tomorrow is for me. <laughs> Hey, listen, you're a pro. No, you're no. good. Yeah, but I will be running. I'm excited. Marcy Gonzalez is also going to be running. Uh, we're not on the same team, but uh, it's nice. We've got a lot of our CVS uh, family that's going to be, you know, competing in the triathlon tomorrow. So uh, let's talk about temperatures to start off the morning. Of course, if you're hoping to get some exercise outside this morning, uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful weather to do that. We are talking temperatures in the 60s for most of us to start off the day. Once we head into this afternoon while we'll be under a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures topping out below average. We are talking 70s along the coast and across Los Angeles, Orange County. Valley communities feeling 80s this afternoon as well as the high desert locations. Areas like the Antelope Valley winds kicking up this afternoon as onshore flow increases. Lots of sunshine up in the mountains with temperatures in the upper 60s. Ladies, back to you. There's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal eye opener. A sad end for a woman missing in a mudslide. Friends share memories of their neighbor who died in the storm. Plus, we're also learning of another student tragedy following the overdose death of a high school teen. And healing our coast. We're live in Santa Monica as thousands join in on the biggest cleanup day of the year. But first, we begin with some breaking news in the city of Bell. Deputies are searching for a suspect after a shooting that left one person dead and two others hurt. It happened around midnight near Chancellor and South Hall Lane. When investigators got there, they found the three victims, a 44-year-old woman and two 46-year-old men. All three were rushed to the hospital where one died. The other two victims are in stable condition. If you have any information about this crime, call the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. A sad end to days of searching for a woman missing in this week's mudslides. CBS 2's Nicole Comstock has reaction from neighbors. Search and rescue teams sifted through a mound of mud inside this Forest Falls home for several days. And we now know they found 62-year-old Doris Yagiello, an accomplished painter, published poet, and beloved grandmother dead underneath several feet of mud and debris. We were waiting for it and didn't want it to happen, but we knew it was going to. Because when you have boulders the size, you know, the size of cars being moved, there's not much, not much hope with that. Doris lived right behind Olin Ritchie. He says she was a kind-hearted woman, and he feels for her family, who she lived with. Her son hugged search teams Wednesday, thanking them for looking for his mom. 
thoughts and prayers go out to her and her family. The same mudslide that killed Doris swept this family's Jeep away and ripped a wall off their house. That's the worst of it. Um, it took out the entire wall right there. You sure we're okay? On the other side of that is Olin's room, which also had a wall collapse. If I were home, it would have seriously injured me, if not killed me. So I'm counting my blessings. Doris's friends tell us they feel blessed to have known her. They say she was sensitive and happy here with her family. Search teams were able to salvage a few of her things for them. One of her dogs found alive two days after the flash flood. And several of her paintings, similar to the ones she proudly posed in front of at the showcase. And the San Bernardino County Sheriff's Department says they hope this eventually helps bring Doris's family some closure and then helps them heal. Reporting in Ukaipa, I'm Nicole Comstock, CBS 2 News This Morning. There is growing concern among parents this morning as.